Okay, hey everybody, welcome back. Apparently I can't do live anymore because I don't have enough subscribers, so I had to redo a recording of this instead of going live. It's good to know because now I'm going to start using Facebook Live as an alternative when I want to go live. All right, I'm done complaining. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone had a great full moon. I know I did, and... Um, I usually don't do too much magic during a full moon eclipse, but I talked to you guys, I can't even get this lit, I talked to you guys about, well, let's try a different box of matches, about me doing a bay leaf spell. Bay leaf spells are one of some of the most simplest things you can do. I'm actually lighting a smudge stick at the moment, so... I'm going to walk you through really quickly because the perfect time to do these is a day or two after the full moon when the moon is wanting. When you're in a wanting moon, you want to rid yourself of stuff. You want to release yourself of stuff. You want to, um, you can bind yourself or others. You can hex in this phase, but this is for your, our own self worth on our own personal growth. Anyone can do this. I'm just smudging my space right now. And you could do it a couple of different ways. So I'm just going to take take you through some of the simplest ways. You can use either a black candle because black is to release blockages. Black is to release the negative. Okay. If you don't have black, you can always go with white. White is a universal protection release. So you can use one of those two. You can anoint them with sandalwood, frankincense, myrrh. Um, however, I'm, I'm going rogue here, and I'm going to be using a tea light. Tea lights are very easy to use, and they're excellent for doing quick spells, um, easy easy magic spells tea light. Now I'm actually going really easy here and I'm using sage oil. Now the sage oil that I have is actually in a roller ball. It smells wonderful. I bought this at a Native American market. I buy a lot of my products from Native Americans. And obviously I'm not using a stick candle or I would anoint. While I'm anointing, if I was to use one of my stick candles, as you can see, I would take the oil in my hand and I would anoint it away from you because you're ridding yourself. So you anoint away from you. Away, away, away. You anoint away from you when you're ridding yourself. If we were doing a love spell and or we were doing a money spell, I would bring it towards me. I want to bring it, bring it to me. But we're doing something a little different. I'm using a tea light, so I'm just going to take my roller ball and put a few, a little oil on my candle, on my tea light. This is one of the most simplest things we can do in magic. And I'll tell you, the power of the bay leaf is, is powerful. You get yourself a bay leaf, okay? You take this candle and you light it. Anyone can do this. This doesn't have to be anybody who's pagan or Wiccan. Or This is a universal spell. Christians can do it. Jews can do it. <laughs> Muslims can do it. It's, it's a universal thing here. There's no religion based on it. I, I, the ones who know me well know I hate religion. So, Then you're going to take your Sharpie. Now that you have your candle lit, you're going to take your Sharpie. And you're going to write down on this leaf all the things you want to release yourself of. So I'm using this as an example. Some of us have fear, um, sickness. The bigger the leaf, the more stuff you can put on it as well. I'm just putting a few examples. Fear, sickness. Um, we want to release hate. Some of us have a lot of hate within us. Um, we can release the hate, um, the negativity. 
Let's see if I can fit that on there. Negativity. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's your intent, okay, people? It's your intent, not mine. So it doesn't have to be perfect in any sense of the way, okay? And while you take this now and you, it's going to really go. You can hear it popping. You're going to get a good fire on that. Make sure you have it in a fire-safe dish. And you're going to let your bay leaf burn and smolder. It's smoldering away all the problems. It's smoldering away your diseases, your illnesses, your phobias, your fears, your weaknesses. And while you're burning this, you say to, you can say, and I take all my fear, my self-doubt, dot, 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 whatever you want to add into that, and I release it. I will no longer be affected by the the things that ail me, the things that affect my psyche and my well-being, so mote it be. Something along those lines, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, and you can do as many, if you want to do five different um, bay leaves for five different issues, you can do that too. Um, if you want to take four bay leaves, one for fear, one for, for hate, one, one for negativity, uh, self-doubt, you can take each bay leaf and do that for each thing. It'll give it more power. I'm just setting setting the tone for the example here because this is the day after a lunar eclipse. And um, it's very good to do this kind of magic, especially on a Wednesday. This is the day of Mercury, and Mercury is the messenger of the gods, and we are releasing our problems and giving them to the gods. I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, you know where to find me. Hi, by the way.